Welcome back to another edition of Sling Paint Gaming. I am Birdo, and we have round four, Crate Cup 2, sponsored by the Carolina Crates. This was recorded on March 4, 2017. This is pre-FAQ 4.3. Just make sure you guys are aware of this, because you do see Palpatine on the board here. I got Ben from Team Carolina Crates on my left. I got Nick from Murder Squad on my right, and they are running two interesting lists. I have, with Ben, the Lambda Class Shuttle with Sensor Jammer. Emperor Palpatine and Guidance Chips. Guidance Chips? Why are you putting Guidance Chips on there? Well, he just put it on there because of his zero point slot. He just wanted to put it on there. All right. Marek Steele in the Tide Defender with Juke and Tie X7 title. Carner Jacks with Push the Limit, Auto Thrusters, Guidance Chips, and Guidance Chips again. Royal Tie Guard. And Nick on my right has Kylo Ren in the Upsilon Class Shuttle with a score to settle and fire control systems. He also has a Delta Pilot in the TIE Defender with the TIE X7. And Countess Ryad with TIE Defender, Push the Limit, Twin Ion Mark, Twin Ion Engine Mark II, and the TIE X7 title. These guys are getting set up. They're trying to figure out their lists and what they want to put down. This is going to be interesting. Now, this is pre-FAQ, but so... The TIE X7s are, you know, that got nerfed, and, and also Emperor Palpatine that got nerfed. I, mean, I still think they're, you know, they're viable cards and playing their, in their right respects. But when you watch this game, do remember that Emperor Palpatine is the old Emperor Palpatine again. It's pre FAQ 4.3. So they're getting set up. Ben, it took initiative there, so he's placing the first rock right there in the middle. Now, this is interesting because Nick is not running. He's not running Palpatine on the shuttle. So he's just got Kylo Ren, the Delta Squad, and Countess. So I'm just going to be interesting on this list. Ben is running the Palpatine. The Palpatine. Yeah, like he's a, you know, his official. The Palpatine. Like the Emperor Palpatine. But we'll see how he's getting set up here. He's putting the rocks down there. And you guys remember, this is Carolina Crates. This is the fourth round of the Car uh, the Crate Cup 2 going into this. There was actually a couple teams that were on the, running for the... For the final uh, match in the round five, which we'll get to you guys as soon as possible after this one. But, and basically, there's no cut. There's no uh, cut to top six or anything like that because this is a team effort. You have four members of your team, right? And depending on how they do versus the other teams, right? All the scores, the MOVs, and the wins, and what have you, all tally up. Um, so this will be interesting on how this all plays out, and I'll definitely guys, let, let you guys know what the stats are towards the end here. But right now, these guys are both um, competing. I, I, you know, I'm really liking Ben's list as a traditional, you know, you know, pal bases. But he's got Merrick Steele in here, which you normally don't see Merrick Steele a lot. You know, Merrick Steele has his ability um, where. It's, it's, you know, when you attack, deals a face-up damage card to the defender. Instead, draw three damage cards, choose one to deal, and uh, and discard the others. So it's just an interesting combination that he has there. And then Karna Jax. Karna Jax, I love his ability. Enemy ships that range one cannot perform focus or evade actions and cannot spend focus or evade actions. Evade actions. So it basically is going to shut down... Um, a lot of what the the whole tie X7s do. So this is going to be interesting if he can get Karna Jax in there. And that's interesting how he has set up. So he's got the shuttle on the top left there. Um, and he's got Merrick Steel. So that's actually the round of the game where they're getting started here. And you guys are going to see the flash here, just so you, know, you guys know. We um, create at the end of every round a flash. You also see the hull and sh uh, shield markers. Again, this is also recorded at 2x speed. So they're getting started here. They're getting to put, ready to put their dials down. All right, and the Delta doing a big, big three bank. Took, uh, gets the evade token, also focuses up. Countess doing a three bank as well. And barrel rolls over. He's just going to stay there. He's supposed to get his evade token for that action. Running the TIE X7. Kylo doing a three forward. Usually he tries to keep them in the corner there for the longest he can, but he's bringing them right out. Kylo's going to focus. Okay. He's going to focus. And there's Karner Jax. Yeah, Karner Jax is going to get out of dodge. He doesn't want to face those defenders. He's going to boost one forward. All right, I'm going ready right back to dials. Nothing's changed. You just saw the flash. Some different camera angle views here. It's going to be interesting because with Karna Jax shutting down that whole focus token and evade token, as long as he's in range one, if Ben can manipulate and get into position 
But it's going to be difficult, especially with those, those defenders doing a you know 4K turn in their arsenal, especially Countess Riad's ability making almost any straight maneuver a K maneuver. Shuttle coming in. Riad is going to do the one bank, so he's and ooh barrel roll over. Okay. Kahlo's gonna go. Kyle's gonna start turning in. Yep. Ooh, big too hard. He's gonna coordinate and give uh, focus token to Riad. Three bank Merrick Steel. Barrel rolls over. Now you got a lot of red ships on here, so we we'll try to keep them straight here. Corner Jack's getting out of dodge. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to start barrel rolling Connor around around that top right rock there. All right, back to dials. You saw the round flash. Nothing has changed. This next round of, I would think this next round is going to be start of combat here. It'll be interesting on what they do and set up. And the Kylo Ren shuttle that, that Nick has, he's got, for the elite upgrade, he's got a score to settle. So it's during setup, before you place force a step, choose one enemy ship to deal a depth to pay condition card to, right? Um, and add it. When attacking a ship that has a depth to pay condition card, you may change one focus result to a crit result. So that's a nice combination there. Shuttle three forward, boosting going straight up there. Not boost, but straight, just moving fast into the action here. Oh, he's going over the rock. Five forward over the rock for Ryan. Loses their actions. Gets the evade token, though, because of the TIEX 7. Takes a shield off Ryan. Kyle's going to be able to do a two forward. He's trying to get some shots in the action. Missed there, too, as well. He's going to coordinate, give a focus token to Ryan. Push the limit with Ryan. So the coordinated actually triggered the push the limit because when you get to do an action, you get a free action there with push the limit. It takes a target lock on Merrick. No, he's just moving Karna Jax right now. Oh! Merrick's doing a five. Oh, there's going to be some dice slinging this round. A lot of paint's going to be slung. Yes, that was a cheap uh, plug. <laughs> All right, so he's thinking about what he wants to do here. All right, he's going to focus. He gets the evade, evade token. Doing two forward with Karna Jax. Oh, 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 Jax. Oh, Jax is going to shut down. He's doing one forward, and I still think he's going to be in range one of both those ships, so he's going to shut down that focus and evade action there. Jackson shot. Merrick's up. <clears throat> Shooting to Ryan. Four hits. Oh, no. Four hits. Uh, oh, wow. Two shields right off Ryan. And he can't use the tokens uh, because he's in range one of Carnal Jacks there. Kylo's going to next up and shot. He's thinking about where he wants to go. He's going to shoot at Jax. Non-tokens. Just one hit. Vaded. Riot's going to shoot. Fire control systems for Riot and Tameric. Spends the target a lot. Four hits. Palp and evade. And spends the focus token. No damage on Merrick there. Does the shuttle have shots? I don't think he does. Just out. Oh! He's going to take a range three on Kylo. Spends the focus. Two hits. Two evades. Safe on Kylo. And now I believe the Delta's up. 
Range one to Merrick from the Delta. We can't use any focus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. That's not what you want to see. Oh, two shields off Merrick Steel right there. All right, back to dials. You just saw the tail of the tape. On Ben's side, Merrick Steele lost two shields. On Nick's side, you got Countess Raya down to two hull left already. This is not looking good for Nick already for Countess Raya. But the game is still early on. You got Kylo Ren coming in, but he's got a big old rock in front of him. You got the shuttle. I'm wondering if he's actually going to stall with Kylo Ren right there. And I wonder if he's going to stall with the shuttle. No, he might bring the shuttle. Oh, yeah, no, I, I think Ups in class is definitely going to shuttle. I think Nick's going to stall with Kylo. Because depending on what Merrick Steele does and what Jax does, because Jax is probably going to do a hard turn to come back into the fight. Merrick's probably going to do a 4K. You know the Delta and Riot are going to do 4Ks. Riot might even do something shorter. So it'll be definitely interesting on what they do here. All right, Delta is going to do a 4K. They're just going to mark Merrick. Let's see what he does. Yep, there's the 4K. White maneuver. Evade action, and he's going to target lock. He's going to target lock Merrick. Okay. Shuttle's going to do a 1. And does he miss the rock? Ho, oh, ho, ho, look at that. He just misses the rock. That is some experience flying right there. And there's a 3K from Ryad doing something short. Ryad's ability allows her to do that, basically. When you reveal a straight maneuver, you may treat it as a uh, K turn, which is basically a green maneuver, clears the stress, but she pushed the limit and, and target lock Merrick as well. Oh, and Ben kind of figured that. He, Ben's like, I'm going to get Merrick the heck out of dodge here. Oh, that's interesting. He's going to barrel roll forward and as far as possible, which I think is out of the arc of Kylo. Yep. That definitely looks like out of arc. Jax is going to do it too hard. There it is. It's probably going to boost. Yeah. I would. Yep. Boost one. He's going to push the focus. All right. Start a combat. Here we go. Into Kylo from Connor. Three hits, one evade, two shields off Kylo. And he's going to search the deck for the condition card because of Kylo's ability. No, no shot for Merrick. So Upsland class into the shuttle. Two hits into the shuttle. He's going to spend the focus. One shield off the shuttle. A little measuring. He's just... All right, he's going to shoot Merrick range, Riot to range three to Merrick. Spends the target lock and spends the focus for hit, hit, crit. Spends the, spends the evade, palp. So save one shield. Last shield off Merrick. Hit crit into Kylo. Two shields. More shield. Oh, wow. Delta. He's just out of range of Merrick and also Jax. Oh, unbelievable. Now look with the, oh, the tail of the tape. So Merrick Steele on Ben's side is down to hull left. Three hull left. On Nick's, uh, and also Lambda lost only one shield that, that round. That was pretty good, keeping the Palpatine alive there. Nick on the right-hand side, he's already down to two shields left on Kylo Ren. He's still down to two hull left on Riot. This is going to be an interesting turn for both these guys here. What are they going to do with those shuttles? Now, Nick already stalled with Kylo. Does, he, you know, does Ben stall with his shuttle, keep him right there, and hopefully potentially block him? And also, what is he going to do with that shuttle? I mean, because he still want to. Nick still wants to keep him in the fight. Merrick's definitely going to turn around. Jax, I think, is going to. He's going to try to you know go out fast and try to maybe maybe actually no he's probably going to do a two bank or something. But let's see what Ryan and also that Delta does. So Delta's going to move first over to PS One. You guys can see the PSs that I have up there. 
This is going to be interesting next turn. I mean, right now, Ben's looking like... Actually, you know, Ben right now with the shuttles is in better position. But I think Nick is better, especially suited for the defenders, depending on what, what these defenders do. Nick's got to be thinking that Ben's going to be stalling with that shuttle. So does he have the two defenders go for the PALP shuttle and try to take it out? And Nick's got to be careful, especially with, with that rock in front of him. He's, he's going to do a too hard turn. Let's see what he does. <clears throat> All right, so he put the conditioning token on uh, Karna Jacks. And it's the one that makes him a pilot skill zero. That was from before. All right. So Delta moves up, tokens up. Yeah, he can't. Oh, yep, there we go. He gets the evade token for TIE X7, but he can't take evade um, because this is the old TIE X7 because it's not considered an action. All right, so he's stressed. Ryad's going to do a three bank. Oh, he's going to go. He's going to try. Is he bumping? Yep, bump. Green maneuver. Because the twin ion mark and twin ion engine mark two makes it a green. Whoa! Kylo going over the rock. And bumps into the sh into the shuttle. Palpatine shuttle. But he's off the rock though. No damage for the rock. Maris gonna do a four K turn, yep. And what is Jax going to do? He's got to get out of dodge. He's going to focus instead. Connor Jax is going to do a three forward. Clears the stress. He's going to barrel roll over. Oh, wow. All right, start a combat. Here we go. Merrick range three and shots. He's thinking about what he wants to do. One hit. Spends the evade token. All right, Ryan does another shot. Shuttle is going to shoot. He's thinking about what he wants to do with the shuttle shot. He's just going to leave it one. One shield. One shield off the Delta. He's not going to spend the target lock. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. He's going to save it. All right. So that's the tail of the tape right there. You just see the flash. So the next round, they're back to dials already. That was interesting. Okay. So not, I mean, Ben's side pretty much stayed exactly the same. Nick is still, uh, the only thing he lost right there was one shield on the Delta. So that was a pretty interesting uh, swap there. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. But that big three bank turn from Kylo Ren's shuttle was a little bit unexpected there. But it bumped into the thing. So I'm wondering what he's going to do. He's probably just going to bump into the shuttle there. Now that would be fine for, um, for Ben if he bumps. Because as long as... Uh, as long as he bumps and Palpatine stays alive, and if he, if the Delta and Riot is still going for Merrick Steel there, that keeps Palpatine alive and lets Karna Jax do Karna Jax things. Karna Jax is definitely going to do a one hard turn. You know he's definitely going to turn into. He's got enough space to fit there. And you can see the size of the dial. And that's a trick, guys. If you guys don't know that, look at the dial. Compare the dial to the base of your ship, right? I mean. You can almost judge. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but if you have it next to like what he, what Ben has right now with Karna Jax, you can almost gauge um, using that dial to figure out how the spaces are. Now you can't use it and move it around like you, like a measuring tape, but it'll be a good gauge when it's next to your ship. Barrels over. Is he going for the block from Merrick? Bump. All right. Lambda bumps. Ryad's doing a three. Is he flipping her? Nope. Just a three forward. Okay. He gets the evade token for Ty X7. Thinking about what he wants to do for his ability. He's just going to take a focus. He's going to push. Target lock just in case on Merrick Steel. 
Kyle's going to do a two bank. I don't think he clears it. Nope. Just stress, but clears the stress. Four forward for Merrick. Oh, wow. Okay. Karna Jacks right here. One hard turn. Just gets a free evade. He's thinking about what he wants to do here. Oh, he's going to barrel roll to get out of uh, range one shot. Yep, there's the hard one from Karna Jacks. And he misses that debris. Yep, safe. Just misses. Oh, oh, little bump ships, but he did was safe on that debris. So he was good. He wasn't on the debris at all. Range one into Kylo from Jax. Spends the focus. Oh, no. One of eight. Three shields. Two shields and a hull. Crit. Major explosion. Rolls a die. Safe on major explosion. On to Kylo. Ran up some clash shuttle. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, right. More dice into Kylo. Three hits. Oh, my goodness. He's going to juke it. Oh, my God. Three more damage into the shuttle. Nothing. Oh, we're moving on to Jax. He's going to... Shuttle's got a range three through the rock. Nothing evaded. That's fine. But wow. Delta range two. Spends a target lock. Oh, two hits. Spends the evade token on Merrick's blocked. Wow. Check that out. Look at the tail of the tape there now. Lambda on Ben's side it still has one shield missing. Merrick's still down to three hull. But Nick, look at Nick's Kylo Ren Upson Clash shuttle is down to two hull. He had both Merrick Steel and Karno Jax ripping right through, delivering a whole bunch of hits and, and a crit. He had a major explosion, but uh, it turned out to be a, uh, a miss on the major explosion. But still, holy cow. And, and Merrick, uh, I'm sorry, Merrick, R Riot is still down to two hull. Still staying alive. All right, here we go. One bank with the Delta. Reacquires Targalock onto Merrick. Shuttle is going to do... Oh, yeah, two bank. And they're lining it up. Okay. Riot's doing a two bank. All right, that's love. I love Riot's ability with that, making any straight maneuver a K turn and a green maneuver on top of it. All right, Jack, moving Jacks. Merrick's gonna be doing a th big three bank. Yeah, Jax is back. There you go. All right, he's gonna take evade. Let's think about what he wants to do here. He's just gonna focus. Jack's going to do a two forward. I think he... Does he clear him? Oh, Jesus. I believe it does clear him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got room to spare. Definitely clears him. Jax is just going to stay right there, maybe? What is he going to do? Oh, no. He's going to barrel roll over. Okay. So he can position. A little bump and grind. A little bump and grind. No shots for Ben's side. Riot shooting into the shuttle. Three hits. A couple more shields. Two shields off the shuttle. Range two into Merrick. Nothing. He's not going to reroll. All right. And that's it. All right. New round. There's no shots for Ben there. Still pretty much the exact same tail of the tape there. Nick's hurting, especially with Kylo Ren's shuttle and Riot hurting pretty bad. But I'm wondering what he's going to do with with the Lambda Clash shuttle. Is he going to go left? Does you know is Nick going to try to go over the rock again with the with Kylo Ren? Connor Jax is in great position right now, and also Merrick Steele if he can get a K turn off and get some shots onto the shuttle for Kylo Ren's shuttle just to take it out of the round. This is going to be definitely an interesting setup here. Yeah, right now, this is leaning towards Ben's favor. 
But the game's not over until it's over. Let's see here. Three bank with the Delta. Trying to get some shots in. Vay token for Tyek 7. Focus as his action. He's going to do a two hard turn going. Wow. Okay. He's going to take. Uh, stressed because of that. Ooh. Wow. That was huge for Ryan. He's going to try to barrel roll, but I don't think he's got room. Nope. Oh, wow. So, you know, that's. He gets a lot of actions. He's going to push the limit. He's. He's going to change, reacquire the target lock onto the shuttle. Too hard left for Kylo. Oh, wow. This is going to be a very interesting round of combat here. Roll for the rock. Nothing. Um, there's Merrick Steele doing a 2 4K turn. But definitely in range one of that shuttle. But is he going to... He's going to target lock Kylo. And Carnajax getting out of dodge. You can tell definitely Ben has is playing these interceptors very well. He's played them a lot. You don't stay engaged in the fight, especially with only three hull. You run away and reset. Oh, my goodness. Three hits. Oh, that's into the shuttle with Merrick Steele. So they're talking about the condition card right now. And does it actually, you know, because when it gets a sign, because he took a crit on that one, because it also goes on his on his end too as well for Nick's end. So right now what he's just discussing the rules of it. But so how it works is that Merrick Steele will now should be assigned that crit. Because originally Karna Jax has um, the actual... Uh, Score to settle token on it. Yep, so now first time it's assigned, so he gets a crit. Now it gets reassigned to Merrick Steel, that crit token. But because Merrick's a higher PS level than Kylo, Kylo is off the board. That was actually huge for Ben right there. Countess Ryad into the Lambda. Lambda's rolling one. He's going to palp three hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit, I should say. I think it was console fire, he said. Right back at the Ryad. Oh, my goodness. Actually, it's three hits and a crit. He couldn't palp that second crit, so it's actually three hits and a crit, he said. So it's three hits and a crit into Ryad. Oh, no! Direct hit. Oh, my goodness. No way. Riot is off the board. That is oh, unbelievable. So the Delta shooting takes one. So Merrick Steel. Holy crap. Ben just took off two ships in that one round. Kylo's down. Countess is out for Nick. This is not looking good for Nick. It just he's just got a delta with one uh, with two shields left on it. Ben, you know, took a lot of hits with the Lambda Clap shuttle and's got three hole left, but he doesn't have any immediate threat right next to him. So Palpatine will probably live the rest of this game. I don't think one old delta one old Delta squad pilot is going to take out these three ships, even though both Merrick Steel and the shuttle are hurting pretty bad. All right, Tucker Locks. Oh, he did a one bank with that. Shuttle's just going to do a one bank over again. Focus. Merrick is doing a 4K, but I don't think... Nope, he won't clear it, so he's going to bump into the Delta. Evades for his uh, TIEX-7. He's going to boost with Karnar around that, around that debris. Push the limit focus. Range 3 from Jax. Palpa crit. Focus. Two evades. One shield on Delta, so the shelter, Delta's down to one shield left. There's a tell of the tape. You just saw the flash. Oh, my goodness. If Connor, yeah, Connor Jax is definitely going to get into position here. But what do you, so Merrick Steele. Can he do a 4K turn? That's going to be really close to the rock. Well, let's see. 
4K turn with a delta. Shuttle's going to do... Yep. Okay, a two bank. Let's see. Oh, he's going to go try to attempt it. Oh, I think he's on the rock. Oh, he's on the rock. Oh, no. Rolls for the rock. Nothing. And Carnage Jax. Two bank. Barrel roll boost. Barrel roll boost. There's the barrel roll. There's the boost. He's into range one, so therefore he can't use the evade or focus action. Karna's going to be shooting first. Jack's range one. Oh. He's going to palp for a crit. Hit crit. Oh, no. Crit. Hit crit. Shaken pilot. Oh, my goodness. That was huge. And just out and just out of both Merrick Steele and Karna Jacks. Oh, he's down the two hole left with the Delta Squad. Oh, okay, so they're rolling for console fire that he forgot on Lambda Class Shuttle. So he took some more damage there um, on the Lambda Class Shuttle. So that definitely I think I updated that, yep. Unbelievable. Three bank. Oh, oh, why is he going that way? Unless he's just trying to finish the game. He's going to reacquire target lock on the shuttle. He's going to take an evade uh, for TIEX 7. He flips over to action as console fire flips it over. He's holding the rock. I think he's going to hit him. Does he bump him? All right, he bumps him. What is Merrick? Uh, Merrick bumps. There's his Carnage Jax doing a two. Oh, focus. Carnage Jax. Palpa crit. Oh, my God. Hit, hit, crit. And that's the game. Holy cow. Ben with Carnage Jack takes out that last Delta. That was a phenomenal game. Round four of the Crate Cup 2, sponsored by the Carolina Crates. And Ben is one of the Carolina Crates there. If you guys don't know them, check them out. The links for their podcast are definitely below. Also, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a, um, a like below. And also subscribe to our channel so you get more video updates. That was a great match. Great round four. Unbelievable. With I mean, with the limping around Lambda Class Shuttle. Marek Steele down the two hole. Carnage Jackson almost at three hole. Oh, just ripping into Nick's list, especially Kylo Ren and that Countess Riot taking some nasty hits and those two ships going down that one turn. That was an excellent game. Again, if you guys like what we do and you want to help support us, check out Team SBG, our token store, our t-shirt store, all the links below. And then guys, always remember, when you sling more paint than your opponent does, you're probably going to win. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.